We're going to assemble the 45 ton swage press. The 45 TPU will do cable fittings from 336.4 ACSR to 2000 MCM ACSR or AAC. Once you get above 2000 AAC, you will move to the 65 ton press and one additional head with a set of dies. The installation of the lower die block is very simple. There's a quick release button, set of pins on the head itself. It locks it into place. The head, very similar to the rest of our tooling, slides into the yoke of the press. And the 45 ton is together. We're going to do a cable fitting. This is 336.4. The nomenclature or part number of the fitting has the first two numbers as the dies. The rest of the numbers are the part number which corresponds to the conductor that you're using. The conductor itself will fit in the barrel of our swage fitting. If you notice it is also coated with AFC compound. The cable needs cleaning with a stainless steel brush. As deeply as you can clean it into the stranding of the conductor to remove the aluminum oxide that have accumulated and built over time. You don't want to de-strand, de-twist the strandings as it makes it practically impossible to reweave the strands. We've cleaned the fitting. Now we use a piece of Scotch-Brite material and brush down the outer surface of the fitting, the cable. Now as we insert the cable in the fitting, we also have a term we developed, weep hole, peep hole. The weep hole, peep hole is and a drain to allow moisture that may condensate on the inside of the fitting to leak. It's also a side hole so you can see the strandings of the cable inside the fitting. That ensures that you're at the bottom of the cable fitting cavity. Now we also want to make a mark on the cable once it's inserted into the fitting. And we do that as a safety preventative as you withdraw the conductor and if you drop the fitting piece of contamination goes into the barrel and you reinsert the cable if it doesn't go to your mark you know the cable is blocked so when it goes back to the mark your cable is inserted all the way to the end of the barrel cavity to compress the cable we have one swage mark it's one swage. Okay. We have a finished compression. We use our swage gauge. Put the swage gauge on the barrel.